The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Living environment. Ensure the availability of living accommodation through environmentally sound resources and tactics. The South Matlat project is located in the north of the country, 40 kilometers from the center of Kuwait City and 15 kilometers from Jahra. South Matlat is the largest integrated residential project in the history of Kuwait. By the end of June 2016, the Public Authority for Housing Welfare has signed a contract of about 288 million Kuwaiti dinars with the Italian Cellini Costratori Engineering Company and Turkey's Calling Group to build the city's infrastructure. The authority also signed a five-year contract worth about 23.5 million Kuwaiti dinars with the U.S. Hill International, the global leader in managing construction risk, to provide program management consultancy services during the development of the project. The contract involves ensuring the completion on the project on the specified date, evaluating contractors and consultants, and training Kuwaiti employees at PAHW on running project and contracts. The project covers the construction of the work main roads and main infrastructure of the South El Madla city that would be newly developed on an area of approximately 100 km squared. Number of targeted units is 28,288 units and the unit space is 400 square meters. The project consists of 156 schools, 179 mosques, 12 police stations, 12 gas branches, 12 youth girls center, 12 suburb centers, 12 ambulance centers, 48 stores, 99 public and main parks, 12 health center and government sector. The first construction license is expected to be issued on December 2018. The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around five theme or desired outcomes and seven pillars or area of focus for investment and improvement. Each pillar has a number of strategic programs and projects that are designed to have the most impact on achieving the vision of New Kuwait. Let's look at the top social media highlights regarding Kuwait development projects. From Kona account, Development projects key to achieve Kuwait 2035 vision. And from Kuwait account, 80 to 90 percent of 48 important development projects solved. And from Global Islamic Economy account, Kuwait 2018 2019 development plan includes 20 large projects worth nearly 71.6 billion dollars. For more information or details regarding Kuwait Development Account, please visit the website on the screen. During the COVID-19 pandemic, Kuwait's frontline professionals need face masks, face shields and gloves to protect themselves and others from getting infected with the virus. In efforts to support the frontline workers, the Kuwait Engineering Society manufactures face shields as well as face masks to supply their colleagues in the Ministry of Health to combat the novel virus. We are called Hope Kuwait and it's a voluntary campaign. Uh, it was an initiative by, coming from the Kuwait Engineering Society to design and manufacture the face shield for the front lines medical, uh, medical sector as if either doctors or the supporting uh, medical staff. So the, the initial stages was we had to design a, a unit and then we had to take it all the way to the Ministry of Health and to the Infection Disease Department as if they had to test it and make sure it is compliant with the, uh, with the international regulation and it can be used for the frontline medical staffing as much as the, uh, they can to make sure all the, all the risk has to be avoided into uh, getting infected by the COVID-19.
The Ministry of Health has set a standard of specifications for the face shields used by medical professionals to ensure their safety and effectiveness. Shield team is basically an initiative started by a, a bunch of doctors, engineers, architects, designers, um, volunteers from all disciplines who have come together in hopes to find solutions to offer the uh, Kuwait medical community to fight the COVID-19. So basically we're here printing, uh, 3D printing uh, face shields um, to help um, support the COVID-19 frontliners in Kuwait. We have several locations. Right now we are here at the Kuwait Society of Engineers. We have um, other locations where this is also operating. Um, I'm part of SHIELD Kuwait and I, my main role is the design aspect and also the manufacturing. Uh, 3D printing came as a fast fast rotating solution to manufacture face shields like, like the ones in my hand. Um, we wanted something that can operate very quickly and offer san sanitizable pr products, so products that are reusable more than one time. Um, 3D printing offers uh, high reiterative processes, that means we can make multiple designs very quickly and then test them out very quickly. Therefore, the members of the Kuwait Engineering Society and volunteers work hand in hand together to manufacture the face shields in efforts to give back to Kuwait by contributing on the fight against the COVID-19 virus. West Abdullah Limbar project is located 18 kilometers from Jahra and Kuwait City. West Abdullah Limbar project area is 902 hectares. The number of targeted units in the project is 5,201 units and the unit space is 400 square meters. The project consists of 26 schools, 24 masjids, two governmental complexes, 10 shops, two gas branches, three central markets, two fire extinguishing centers, two health cares, and three police stations. Electric current of the project will gradually enter service starting from the first quarter of 2019. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare received the total project vouchers in the same city with a total of 5,201. The main power transformers contract is currently under implementation with 16 million and 150,000 Kuwaiti dinars in addition to another contract covering six stations worth 18 million Kuwaiti dinars. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare is in the process of determining the schedule of the project of the completion of public buildings of suburb and the project of the city of West Abdullah Limbarak, where the tender was awarded to the Kuwaiti company Al Hamra with a contractual value of 28 million and 466,000 Kuwaiti dinars. The Public Authority for Housing Welfare is currently working on the establishment and completion of 99 government buildings in the west of Abdullah Limbarak after the completion of the signing of all contracts for the public buildings and entry into the implementation phase through four contracts with a period of implementation with up to 30 months. Work on the project was started on the 25th of November 2015 during a period of up to 730 days and ended on the 23rd of November 2017. The annual plan 2017-2018 is scheduled to continue 164 projects that will contribute more than 50 billion in revenue. Now we will take you on a social media tour regarding West Abdullah Limbarak project. From Garb Abdullah Limbarak account, power stations with permission will be ready to deliver the power supply in the summer of 2019. Photos of some of the various parts of the building are under construction during a fold. And in the end, from new Kuwait government, future starts with you.